Hello friends and family and welcome to In the Kitchen with Leanna. I'm Leanna and today we're making um, spinach roll-ups because we're going to my daughter's later on this afternoon and if I don't make them my grandson will never forgive me because he just absolutely loves these things. First thing we're going to do is I, I have taken two packages of frozen spinach chopped spinach and I thawed it and then I, I squeezed it as hard as I could to get all the liquid out of it. So we're gonna put that in there. A cup of mayonnaise. A block of cream cheese. You can use the low fat if you want but I don't want. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add this. It's an eight ounce block. If I didn't say that. And then I'm gonna I got two scallions here that I'm going to chop up really, really fine if I can, as fine as I can. Okay. And I'm going to add that to the concoction. And next I'm adding a package of Hidden Valley Ranch dip. The, the, powdery stuff. One package of that. And then I've got a can of water chestnuts. And I'm going to chop those up really, really fine. It just adds a little crunch to the, the little babies. Okay, I have some corn. And that's all there is. Well, that's all the ingredients there is to it. So now I'm going to go over to my little mixer and um, mush it all up together. Okay, so I've got it all mushed together. Um, oh, and for those of you who are spinach haters, and I know there's a lot out there, um, you got to give it a try. I promise you'll love it. Um, we had a pastor that we used to go to his church, and he absolutely despised spinach. And his wife said, Mark's not going to eat these. And... She made him, she tried one and she says, you've got to try this. So he did and he's addicted to them. And he absolutely cannot stand spinach. You really, do, I don't know, it's just, it's bizarre. But anyway, I'm not going to bore you with all my little stories. I'm going to take 
some tortilla shell, flour tortilla shells. And I'm probably going to do eight of them. That's usually how much I get out of, out of this. And it just takes a little thin, 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 thin layer of this, tip, or whatever you want to call it, filling. And you just spread it really thin and get it right to the edge. Pretty much. A little bit more. Okay, you probably know the rest of the story, but we're going to roll it up really tight. Well, not tight, but just roll it. And then what I do is I wrap each one individually in saran wrap or plastic wrap. Um, and I stick it in the free refrigerator for about an hour. Or, or, or so, or longer, but, it, you know, at least 45 minutes to an hour. And then, after that, I'm going to pull them out of the refrigerator, unwrap them, and I'm going to slice them up into little, you know, little, little bite-sized pieces. And Jim eats the ends. I don't bring the ends to any function I go to, because the ends are, you know, they're not attractive. And, but Jim doesn't mind. He gets to eat them. And I even grab a couple here and there. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you how I do a couple, and then there's no use boring you with all eight of them. They're all done the same. And then when I take them out of the refrigerator after they've been in there for an hour. I'll show you the finished project after I slice them up. Okay, so I'm just going to continue rolling. The camera's not, and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. They've been in the refrigerator for over an hour. Um, so this is what I've done. I've wrapped them all in um, saran wrap, or plastic wrap. And so now... That's just so that the filling can get a chance to harden up. Well, not harden up, but get back to firm up. Cold. Yeah, firm up. Thank you. So I'm going to unwrap them all and I'm going to cut. I'm going to help Now you. these, you really need to eat them up the first day because after, they don't make great leftovers. They're edible, but they're really the 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 fajita wrappy thingy tortilla <laughs> shell gets really soggy after they sit for a while. So they're and, not really great the next day. So don't make them ahead of time if you're taking them somewhere. So the ends I throw on a plate. Jim grabs them and eats them. <laughs> it's probably going to be his lunch because we're out of here after I get these done. So how's it taste, honey? Mm. Very good. So then I just pile them on a plate. 
the cute. And at Christmas time, sometimes I'll use the red and the green um, tortilla wraps. And, and, and they taste just as good. Some of them taste better. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, and I hope you'll give it a try. Um, it's a great, inexpensive, fairly quick, after you've done it a few times, you know, you can just slap them right out there. Quick and easy dish, well it's not a dish, it's a hors d'oeuvres. So if you're having dinner at someone's house, or a special event, or people coming over, it makes quite a few, so... That's why we had to wait to go somewhere to make them, because I couldn't possibly sit down and eat all of these. Well, both of us. Anyway, it's been a pleasure being with you again. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And hit the little bell thingy, ring it, or whatever it is you do with it. And smash that like button. I know what you got to do with that. And I will see you next week. Thank you so much. We love you. And have a blessed day.